Okay, so I've had a few questions on black screens that show the content but they don't light up. So sometimes when you replace your board, uh, there's a few things that could go wrong that would cause this to happen. And sometimes you just have some parts that end, end up failing and you just have to replace them. Uh, I've started off removing the screws. All, uh, the second, the third, the sixth, and the eighth screw here. Remove these two screws right here. I move these two screws right here. These four screws on the back. And then there's some tiny screws on the inside here, here, and here. After all that's done, you can you can undo these three on the back of the MacBook. And then you'll be able to pop the lid and pull the keyboard. Don't forget you do have this little guy right here and if you pull it off too hard you could rip this cable so what I typically do is I'll pull it up just a little bit like that and I'll reach my hand in, the, in like this and take two fingers just like this and just grab my cable and pop it up just like that just so I'm not gonna rip it. Now this is an older one so the, there are actually three plugs on this side we're not actually gonna worry about those and I've done most of this disassembly here but I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly take off this wire right here it just kinda runs down through here and connects right on the left side of the MacBook so I'm gonna pop it off I'll pop off my, my super drive there and then kinda undo some of these keep in mind here that I am using a metal screwdriver on my logic board and I, that is not recommended for really working on this. This machine has been spilled with uh, had a liquid spill on it so it's junk so it doesn't really matter what I do to it it's garbage so when you're actually doing this you need to use a plastic probe that's gonna help protect your logic board so you're not doing kind of discharge on it or scraping things up or messing it up so just do something that's not sharp and metal like my screwdriver I don't want you screwing up your MacBook so pulling this off here uh, there are typically two screws uh, right here and right here you gotta pull those out in order to pop this off and then on the back side here there's a screw we're gonna have it's near the speaker we're just gonna undo it and you'll notice on the inside of that you'll have another screw it's kind of hidden, but just what I typically do is I unscrew it, and if you can't get it out, you just pull the super drive. And there's a little screw there, it just kind of plugs in there. It's a little hard to get in once you, but you can easily do it. So, so I'm going to remove some of these cables, specifically this one. Keep in mind, it is also tied to this one. There's two cables there, they function kind of together. And then there's a screw over on this side, but I'm going to go ahead and re remove this little section here. You'll notice the three screws on that side, so we'll just unscrew them. And I'm not taking any precautions to make sure this stuff is kept together because it will not be reassembled. But you will probably want to kind of keep these together so that when you have to reassemble it, you're not missing parts. Same thing on this left side. And I've kind of gone a little bit too far ahead here, but before you pull these off, it's probably a good idea to remove your bezel here. And then specifically, on the plastic you have three screws remove those three screws so once you do that it should just pop off like that and no longer on the hinges and I can pull my plastic piece just like that you probably want to be careful because some of that sometimes it can break I don't know if you can see right here but right there that's kinda cracked and if you're not careful you'll do that and you'll break 
you break it off because that is not supposed to be separated but it's a very weak link so just be careful doing that all right so now we've got to our inverter board there it is right there now keep in mind when you plug this in if you did my other method on my other macbook uh, screen replacement you'll notice here that the pink side is down so you want the pink side going towards your screen and sometimes it's not always pink but it is typically the colored one in this case I have a yellow and a pink so it's kinda hard to tell but the pink side is down if you have a black and white you will put the black down um, and then when you if your screen is not turning on even though you can see content behind it make sure that this was plugged in really good um, sometimes you can have it just slightly plugged in and you didn't push it hard enough so make sure that really snaps in okay so you also have a black cable on the left here and that thing cops out really easily you know you may if you did my other screen replacement and now the light won't come on on your LED here uh, it's possible that you just kind of pull that out a little bit and it's just kind of hanging in there kind of like that well that'll make it so your your light won't turn on the background and then your LCD won't uh, won't display so there's several things you're gonna have to play with here and what I typically do is I'll make sure everything's connected real good follow this cable down and you'll see a little plug right here and that plugs directly into the logic board uh, it's real fragile so you want to be careful let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit so you'll see the little separations here see how it kinda separates just like that well it's very easy to pull one of these out just like like that so you don't want to do that because that ruins the cable obviously now your cable may be bad so if everything works this is plugged into the logic board right there and your inverter board looks okay and you plugged in on the left or the right hand side here and everything looks good there if that's all in good shape what I typically will do is I'll put my keyboard back on and I'll plug in this bottom part here make sure it's plugged in real good and I'll plug in the power I won't plug in the battery or anything like that I don't even have to plug in a hard drive and I'll just press the power button and I'll see if the uh, if the power turns on at that point after I've checked everything if it doesn't then I know a component's bad so the first thing I typically start with if you have an extra cable, well, a little black cable, I've seen these little black cables go out. So uh, you might just, if you have one, replace it. If you want a cheap fix, find this little guy on eBay or Amazon or PowerBrickMedic.com. It's not going to be expensive at all. Buy it, replace it, and if you if it doesn't work, it's you know it's cheap. It's no there's no real loss there. If it doesn't work, you may be looking at buying a new inverter board. Uh, you can go to my uh, YouTube link and you can see a good place on PowerBrickMedic.com to, to buy uh, inverter boards. And you just have to buy an inverter board and stick it on, plug everything back up. And that typically, especially if I replace this and I've replaced this, that typically will make the uh, LCD light back up and I've never had a problem uh, otherwise unless you have a, a damaged a logic board in some way. All right, that was a quick uh, demonstration on what to do if to troubleshoot a black screen when you can see content, but it's not lighting up. I hope that was helpful. Thanks.